We seem to have some very upset animals here on the open area of Cheetah Plains, right next to their pan. And that's just because the wind is howling. The elephants are upset and I think they've probably been chasing the zebra around as well. But it does give you a nice idea as to the way in which a dynamic of a, a zebra herd functions. So there's our stallion looking off, assuming a very protective role to look after his harem. And then the rest of the females bunching together, a couple of youngish foals. And I think they've deliberately chosen this open area. They have to kind of toss up between being bearing the full brunt of an icy wind and also being able to see across large distances. So the zebra know that they could outrun pretty much as long as they've got a good run up, as long as they've got a good lead, they can outrun pretty much every single predator that's out here. Uh, they seem to have decided that the most sensible approach is to stay out in the open and see what they can find. Sorry guys, I think Andrew's trying to call me. Just bear with me one second. Uh, Andrew, sorry, you're trying to call me? Ah, uh, negative. Just a couple of, couple of love love around between three in a row pan and cheetah pan. Andrew, where did you leave Tandy? Copy that, thank you. Sorry guys, just chatting, double checking what where Andrew left Tundi. He stayed with her a little bit longer than we did. It seems as though she's disappeared into the drainage line around the dam called Juma Dam. Possibly, quite possibly, looking for somewhere to have her cubs. Kind of like Karula did. Karula did a lot of scoping out before she actually went and gave birth. Now apart from our breeding herd,